Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Get Your Happy TV and podcast. Uh, so today's episode, I wanted to talk about how to build the lifestyle you want. Uh, and so we're into um, the second month of the year. So the first of the month, hello February. Um, so um, think about you know your heart chakra. Think about you know just really just being open this month. Um, with your heart and just really just filling up on love. Um, so I did post something um, on my Insta story and really just, you know, just being open to everything of love. And so I want you to do the same. And so um, with that, how to build the lifestyle you want. So, um, you know, with that loving energy and we just had the full moon just yesterday, uh, and so, you know, a lot of that clean energy and just really removing everything that um, doesn't serve you, really detoxing that. Um, so building that life that you want. If you're moving across the country, starting a new job, um, you know, maybe you just got divorced. Um, maybe you've had, you know, a, a very tra traumatic situation. You know, maybe you, you know, lost a child or... Um, just starting over. So how do you build it? How do you build the life that you want? Now that you, now that you've um, came through this a period of um, new energy, and you just wanting to release some of that toxic energy that may be, you know, sort of trapped um, within you. Um, you know, maybe you're feeling a, a you know, feelings of block. Um, so you know, we ponder that, and that's what I was feeling about two weeks ago. I was feeling blocked. Um, and I was feeling these um, really just weight on my shoulders. And sometimes that can be us. It could be a mental story we're telling ourselves. And, you know, maybe we're not in a position where we want to be. Or maybe we're frustrated because we're, um, you know, stuck on a project. Um, that was me. Um, and, you know, maybe we're feeling stuck in, in just this place. Um, and we're wanting to travel or we're wanting to... Um, you know, get a loan. Maybe we're starting something and we want to start, you know, a loan. Maybe we filed recently bankrupt. Um, whatever these challenges are, you know, and we think about the end result, building that life that you want, right? Uh, so uh, the first place that you have to start is with gratitude. Start with gratitude for where you are. And that's what I had to do when I was feeling, you know, this weight on my shoulders. I had to take a step back and really just think about where I was and, and gratitude for that and breathing that in, breathing in that energy that I am in a loving space and breathing in that energy that, you know, wow, I came, you know, very far to be where I am. Um, so, you know, the content that I produce is, you know, sometimes the things that I'm mentioning are mostly um, a, a spark or a trigger of where I was. Um, so, you know, like I said, if you're starting somewhere or you're trying to build that life you want and, you know, in the beginning of the year, we think about um, where we want to be or where we're looking to go. Um, so really just having gratitude for where you are, even if you're stuck. You know, if you recently got evicted, have gratitude for that. If you recently got fired, have gratitude for that. This is your moment of breakthrough. You're about to go in transition to something very beautiful, very magical, very loving. Um, so have gratitude for that. And after you have hold space for gratitude, you want to envision, envision where it is that you want and think about the details. What are you wearing? Is it night? Is it daytime? Um, are you in a building? Are you in an office space? Are you in a commercial kitchen? Are you looking to be a chef? Are you in a courtroom? Um, and, you know, are you in the playground? Are you in the woods, the water? Um, do you have shoes on? Are your toes buried within the soil of the ground of Mother Earth? So think about the details of what it is that this life that you're building, who's around you? Think about that. Um, you know, who are the people that you're taking with you? Who are the people that you're looking to meet in this lifestyle, in this uh, vision that you're creating? Think about the details, right? So um, when you envision your details and maybe it helps for you to write them down, if you have to, you know, grab your magazines and, you know, draw that out, do that. Once you've envisioned it, you had gratitude. Now this is your space 
to declutter right so you're going to look around you and declutter all the things that no longer serves this energy or that's blocking you from getting where you're looking to be that vision that lifestyle that you're trying to get to sometimes that um that decluttering space are people you know maybe it's family members i had to do that i had to you know declutter myself away from family members that wasn't bringing me the lifestyle that I was trying to achieve. You must do that. Um, you know, that person that's telling you, you're never going to be there. You're never going to get there. Wow. Maybe that's just a hobby. I've, I've heard those things. I'm sure you've heard it too. And so sometimes you have to go around and declutter and, you know, stop by your Salvation Army or stop by your Goodwill um, and go to those places and, you know, toss it out. You know, some, so that, that's, that's, it's necessary and it's a priority because that's the reason why you're being held. There's that weight again, you know, some, sometimes people can be your weight and you really have to cut that tie. Okay. And let them go. It's, it's difficult, but I guarantee you're going to be in the space that you're looking to be with that. Right. Um, so after the, after you've, you know, held gratitude, after you envisioned it, you've got the details down. You know where you are, you know what you're wearing, you know what state you're in. Maybe you're in Oklahoma, maybe you're in Chicago, you know, Maine, wherever you are. You know, really get those details and just declutter and let go of the things that are putting that weight on you in that lifestyle that you're trying to create, right? So now that you've um, envisioned, you've decluttered, now you're going to take action, you know, buy that plane ticket, right? Um, maybe you have to go ahead and book a meeting, book a show. Maybe you're thinking about singing on stage in front of millions of people and you got to book that show. You got to go ahead and buy that ticket, buy the ticket to your lifestyle that you're looking to have for yourself, buy the ticket. I know it makes a lot of sense. It's scary too, you know, and it's risk in there, but this is the lifestyle that you want. You know, maybe that means putting your house up for sale and saying goodbye. Maybe that means talking to your boss and saying, you know what? This isn't the position for me. I have something else in vision. I got the details down. Buy your ticket to the lifestyle that you want. So after you purchase your ticket, you're taking action. You got the date down. You've spoken to the coordinator, and you know they said yes, and they're waiting on you to do what what it is that you are called here to do. You know, so you're building your brand for the lifestyle of you. And once you do that, once you've taken action, make sure that you follow up. Follow up and be consistent. Okay, um, so this is a struggle. That part is a struggle, but this I guarantee you is what's going to unlock the door to your lifestyle. And that is following up and being consistent. Now that you have the ticket, it's time for you to jump on that plane, that train, that bicycle, hop in your car, make that walk across the, <laughs> across the border, whatever it is. But I want you to follow up with consistency. I've been doing pretty good with this. It, you know, the, um, but what I've learned is that procrastination is is nothing more than just fear okay so if you're procrastinating on the lifestyle that you want you've got to step over buy that ticket step over it and just go and risk it all so that is it for this uh podcast um i'm very excited to hear your comments on this one and, um, you know, really wanting to see you get rid of that weight and to declutter, not, not just the, the things around you. Sometimes it is the people. I want to see you purchase those tickets to the lifestyle that you want, that is yours, that you are called here to have, and that you've envisioned with all of the details. So comment below. Let me know what it is. What is the lifestyle that you want? And tell me right down there and like this video if you did. If you have questions for me, 
feel free to ask. I love questions. Um, so feel free to ask any questions that you may have that may have popped in your head or how to get there. Um, but you know, all the tools are right here within this video and it's actually right here within your heart space. Your heart will never steer you wrong. So, you know, just make sure that you're listening and just staying in tune, um, to what's been given to you. So I will see you back on the next Get Your Happy podcast and TV. Remember to live abundantly, love your authenticity, and radiate mm, really good happiness. See you back.